So the case uh, is still in Judge Townsend's hands. Um, we are, we're not exactly sure when to expect uh, a, a, an opinion on that. It could be weeks and it could be months, but the city's total bill to date uh, are in the $2.9 million range. All right, and how is that being received? And 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 uh, as, as far as the council goes, uh, those bills have to be approved on a month-to-month basis. Is that correct? So they come in sometimes weekly and sometimes monthly, and um, they've they've been approved by eleven of the twelve council members on a regular basis, uh, with myself voting against them. All right, so let's talk about the Hotel Fox. Uh, I, this is uh, quite the, uh, the the project. It's been uh, quite literally on the back burner for several years. So where uh, uh, there was an official presentation that occurred on Wednesday. What was that like? So the project has really changed in scope and vision since uh, Hotel Fox initially pitched the idea to the city, uh, which I think has now been... Uh, four years ago, uh, three or four years ago, um, you know, originally they were looking at kind of a hotel uh, and and I think small convention center, uh, a project somewhere in the range of $37 million. They came and and brought a a proposed proposed project in front of city council today uh, that was in the range of $150 million. So it has significantly increased in size and scope, uh, added uh, multifamily housing components, condos, a very large convention center, uh, two hotels, retail and office space. I mean, it's just a a very complex, very large project, and uh, the developers have committed a lot of time and money to 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 vetting the project, and they they just need some more time to continue along that path. Now, what uh, specifically do they ask the city? Are you, uh, is the council uh, basically going to say yay or nay to this project, or uh, are they simply advising you of its progress? So the city actually owns the land uh, where the old uh, box theater sat. And so uh, at the moment, uh, the, the developers of, of the Hotel Fox project um, are simply have asked for an exclusive right to negotiate, um, you know, the, for the purchase uh, and, uh, you know, for the purchase of the land in order to make this project happen. So they've had that exclusive development right uh, for the past couple of years, and they've asked for an 18-month extension. Um, you know, they don't want to commit hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars just to their due diligence and, and vetting of this project. Um and then have the city uh, just go and sell it to somebody else. So they've asked for some assurance that if their project is indeed feasible, um, that they'll essentially have the exclusive right to negotiate uh, for the purchase of this land. And so the city has granted them an 18-month extension on that. All right. And anything else about this? Tell me what you think of the project. Well, the project is, uh, I mean, incredibly large in scope in terms of a you know redevelopment uh, infill project in the state of Montana. Um, it would put it would bring uh, convention space to Missoula. Um, you know the that that mirrors what we see in Spokane and Billings would be a, a big game changer in terms of you know bringing folks in for conventions and and creating jobs and, and economic development. Um, you know, there could be a, a point in time when the developers asked for uh, the city to put um, some skin in the game as far as, you know, helping shore up the project, and I'm not so sure what I think about that, but I'll just uh, wait it out and see what the proposal is and make a decision at that time.